Hi, and welcome to my playhouse. And no, I'm not at my playhouse. I'm actually at my apartment in Aarhus. Um, but I bought something rather interesting. I bought I have a box. And it's a 3D printer. And I just found the, the thing here oh, on AliExpress. And it's a cheap Chinese. 3D printer, it's from 2014 and it has something and I bought this printer and I wanted to do an unboxing on it. So I'm gonna take away the iPad and I'm actually a bit disappointed because I paid $330 for it and now it's on sale for $310. So I got cheated. But here's the box and I'll just get a knife and unbox this and we'll see what's in it. And I have a knife here, and I'm gonna open up the package, take out the paperwork. Had to pay a little bit of customs on this box. to be careful not to to damage anything inside of the package okay, this is rather hard with only one hand Something in Chinese. I think it's a checklist for everything in the box. So apparently there's 32 different things in here. Hmm. Okay. That's nice to know. I have no idea what it says. Oh, well, this is nicely wrapped. So that's what they mean when they say rip wrap. Oh, um, kind of a, a fan thing. I'm just gonna put that. So, hmm, I suppose everything is wrapped in this thing. I'll just turn the camera off and unwrap this. So here are the contents of the, of the box. The box is down here empty, just filled up with the, with the plastic and this is the 3D printer parts and this seems to be very nicely done wooden laser cut pieces. Uh, there's some, uh, some small pieces there still hanging on. But I would expect that I could I could poke them out myself. And here is different stuff. There's two motors with uh, spindles on them and there's controller board and there's the here's the LCD board. LCD board with there is an SD card on the side of that, so I should be able to print directly from an SD card, I think. And there is also a USB cable, so I would expect that I can print from a USB cable as well. At least there's, there's a USB port right there. So, very interesting. Um, I haven't seen the manual anywhere. I'm hoping that it they have put it on the SD card. That would be nice. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look if it's on the SD card. And here is the the thing that spits out the plastic. Very nice. 
look solid. But no manual. Oh, at least I haven't found it yet. It would be cool if it was here. It's not. There's a knob. Hmm. So, okay. I'm gonna see if I can find some way to put this together. And hopefully some help on the net. Okay, here is the SD card and I have a portable computer that has an SD card slot on the side here. So let's pop it in, see what happens. Something is happening. Well, it actually sees the, the SD card as drive number uh, letter G and I kind of have the option of formatting it, um, but I was so lucky that I tested this out on my TV before I did that, and the TV read it okay. So this computer is just not able to read this SD card, which is kind of crappy, but I cheated and I downloaded the files through the, through the TV, and I got them here. And I don't know if, <clears throat> if this is because of the Chinese text here, um, but I got the files and I'm pretty eager to see what's on them. So let's try and open one of them. And it's apparently it's a PowerPoint presentation. Hopefully it's a very big PowerPoint presentation about how to put this printer together um, that would be very nice because otherwise it's gonna be it's gonna be a long night there's a lot of <clears throat> a lot of good pieces here come on PowerPoint Woohoo! I think I'm in luck <laughs> this actually does look like the manual here is the first pictures first uh, something in Chinese I think I'm gonna go online and see if this document is available in, in English. That would be a great help. So a lot of pictures. Oh, they are actually putting some of it together there. Okay. I guess I can do this. I would like to read if this is something smart because otherwise I would be in problem this problems but I'm just gonna go online and see if if this document is available in English in their on their homepage I haven't really found this uh, manual in English anywhere so <laughs> what I'm doing or oh, I've just started is cutting the text out and putting it over in Google Translate. So here is the Chinese text and translated it to note uh, and this text is about when you receive the package that you should count everything um, and see if it's there and if in doubt please contact the company's after sale custom service. Mm. I don't know, I don't even know what the company name is, they hide that really well, so. but I'm gonna try and, and, and piece together how to put this thing together. So I'm starting to put this together and it's kind of hard because these parts has, this one has a hole here and if you look at the picture over here, this one has a hole but it's, uh, suppose it's very important to get those pieces in exactly the same spot otherwise this will probably not work and like this main piece has a hole over here and that has to be on the same side over here I guess at least that's, that's how I think it is supposed to be I thought these was wooden pieces I guess I was mistaken they're actually acrylic plastic in black and uh, this is just a protective tape that's on top of it uh, I didn't really know that I did think that it was kind of ugly and if I did just a little bit of reading I would have read that it said 
acrylic right here so that's my mistake but I think I'll take off this plastic protection because it's, it might be difficult to get off when this is all put together so the first piece has, has been put together and it's pretty it's pretty cool these these things uh, the, the back step stabilization things they fit in this uh, front piece of plastic it's very static when you pull pull off the plastic so it collects all the dust on the table <laughs> uh, probably I can't do anything about it and it screws together there's a bolt that goes into a little a little slot here and put through a ball and that's pretty nice and it's very stable and the plastic is it's rather thick so it looks on so further notice this is good quality right now the thing that is taking the longest is actually taking off this protective tape uh, piecing together the pieces like like this doesn't really take that long and it's pretty well put together so here's another piece and these pieces rush really well hidden down at the box and according to the drawings they go here and what you do you take this little bag of washers or I don't think I can't remember what they're called and put them in these small slots takes two small screws and you get them from from the other side and they go up into the to the bolt and fasten them and there is a little tox Thing that comes along. I'm just gonna hand tighten these just a little bit and tighten everything when the other one is on, in place. And now this piece has been put together together with all the other pieces that are sitting over here. What takes the longest is really taking off the protective plastic or paper. So here is the first crystal part. Uh, put together. Um, I think I'll have to measure if it's if it's straight or um, well. Yeah, it's starting to look like something. So it's slow progress, but this is kind of oops, the thing that moves forth and back, where the three D model be will be on. Except, I think this metal plate goes on top of it, um, somehow, but I guess I'll, I'll come to that. And this one is, I'm about to mount this on this one, I think. So that's going to be quite exciting to see what, how that works. And I'm still using the manual over here. It's a good thing that there was a manual because... <clears throat> This is actually quite hard to to assemble, uh, and the manual is not very good. But it's a challenge, and I've been building Legos all my life, so I'll see if I can't manage this too. So I've come a bit further. I've attached two engines on the side here, and one there, and I'm about to, to attach the plate to this thing, and it attaches right here with some holes right there, 
It's a really neat design. Someone has been thinking about everything here. It's pretty cool. So, this kind of works. The motor is connected and it should be able to go up and down. The, the motors are very hard to turn. This, this fitting up here and there are very tight so I've been cranking it a little bit with this one but I don't want to do that too much I don't want to damage the the rods and this one goes forth and back so it's, it's gonna be cool it takes a quite a while to figure all this out but it's actually quite fun well and just when it was going really well look at this round thing uh, this one goes out on the engines and on the bloody picture the round thing is suddenly on the other side uh, that was not where it was when I intended when I started this project in this one the round thing is on the other side like I did it uh, so now I have to take most of this apart again to turn around the main board and put that back on again and um, well, that's not really that much amusing. That really ain't amusing. So, luckily, I'm able to take this apart in rather big uh, pieces. So it's probably it might just be ten minutes setback, but still irritating. Okay, I'm back on track. I even got the. The thing that blows out the plastic mount and the di display can now go in up there. I'm not sure how to mount that yet, so I'm waiting a little bit. And this little blower has to go in here, and it has this little plastic thing, the blue thing that somebody has made a 3D print of, and it's only on with this little screw and yeah it's very wrecked i'm gonna put a little bit of tape on that to try to keep it on there for longer so yeah progress i can see that i'm not gonna be able to uh, assemble this in one night so i'll have to work on it some other day too yeah, it's a, it's a real mess with wires and everything, but most of it is pretty simple. Do what the drawing says. Um, but I have to be really... Uh, have to look very carefully at the drawings because they're not very good. They don't really point out what to do. So, like these very small switches where they actually sit and how to mount them and look at the small screws and yeah it's it's kind of a big job so. but hopefully this will be fun yeah so this is the progress for tonight uh, the time is way over my bedtime it's 20 minutes past 12 but, yeah. This is how far the 3D printer looks. I have actually found that some of the plastic is not so good. It seems kind of fragile. It's very hard plastic, but it it breaks rather easy. Uh, especially these thin screws. Thing when you tighten them, the plastic becomes fragile. But yeah, uh, still uh, probably an evening's work putting this together. So hopefully it will work. Yeah, that's how far I got. Um, I'm gonna break this video up in, in some smaller pieces because um, it's uh, Friday tomorrow and the weekend is coming and I have some other projects that I want do so 
I'll make this one the first episode and you can get back to me and see the rest of it. Hopefully I get this to work sooner or later. But thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe so that you can see me again. Have a nice day. Bye bye.